hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to discuss about the limits what we have in our org as well as uh, you know the usage of uh, any api or email basically the limits what we have consumed so far and what is remaining per 24 hour window so normally when we say limits means like we can see some of them here in our quick find box like um, suppose say let's go object wise if you go to limits here you can see like how many used and how many limit we have and percentage use this is all related custom fields like you create once and you know you might use it but not with like you know 24 hour usage window it will be like forever like you have used five and the limit is 500 and and it shows the percentage of consumed available limit okay so this is about the object level and some of them you can see in your company information as well if you go to your company information you can see all the licenses available license and the use licenses so and this is the remaining license and this is also like kind of like you have purchased or it comes along with when you have activated your org the premium org i'm saying not the developer org and these are all the allowance you have like usage based entitlements and even the api requests limit that you also you can see here see here api request last 24 hours yeah this is very high level but there is one api with which you can um you know um check from the workbench like what are the limits you have and what is the usage per 24 hours means like now i'm doing like in the evening six o'clock and till now what is the limits or how many email i have sent how many api requests i have consumed so those are the things that we can check and there are a lot more than what we can see here in this quick find box so let's go ahead and check that okay first of all log into your workbench and you know how to do that i don't have to tell so when you go to the when you log into your workbench here is the query view where you can write your query and run but what you will do is to run the api you will go to the rest explorer and this is what you get by default so simple thing is if what you have to do is slash limits and execute so this is an api call to your org with the usage along with the limits what you have so for example these are all the limits that we have in our org and to show you let's go to the single email with which only i figured out this api call so we have maximum of 15 single email and this is basically the ones programmatically sent programmatically means either through the api or through the apex programs okay so the maximum 15 and remaining is 15 i haven't used today and similarly the file storage maximum 20 and the remaining is 20 and even hourly sync a sync report runs 1200 12. these numbers are very you know less if you have a real purchased production org then you will have more number by default this is just a developer org so the maximum is 20 mb so which is just for the developer purposes if it is your real time purchased production org then it will be the basic limit will be even more okay so that's one thing and what are the other limits that you can see here i saw one important like this is the daily workflow emails like what are the emails that you have you can send from workflow daily and what is remaining so you might if you have a lot of uh, workflow rule set up to send emails mostly it happens in the case object you can see what is your limit and what is that you have consumed to the uh, uh, that day so far okay and there is one daily api request we have 15000 api request daily in this org i'm talking about and remaining is 4091 and how it consume is even this workbench request whatever you send uh, the request from your workbench even the SQL query uh, as well as the data update insert update all these are considered as an api request and that will go against this limit uh, this is the remaining so far 
and also these are all the connected apps which also consume the api request limit daily we have in this 15000 bucket so we should be aware of that as well and what else any other important streaming api anyway that's not okay bulk api so this is what something which people might be using when in common like in data loader bulk in whichever tool you have done the bulk api calls that comes in this part and what else hourly time id using time based workflow and yeah even you can you know have a time based workflow you can set up uh, what do you call that i forgot the term but yeah in workflow you can set up the time based thing and maximum we have 50 and still we have 50 i haven't used any time based workflow in my arc this developer arc and mass email um maximum 10 remaining 10 yeah in developer you don't get this in much limit but yeah so current sync report this is related to the reports i haven't used any so these are all the limits that we have total limits in you know not all the ones which are available here but it's like limit and the usage till time not till day till time so this is very useful to identify how i ended up coming here is i was running out of a single email limit when i was sending uh, in my current project so the daily limit was some thirty thousand, and i was running out of that and uh, i had that's how i figured out this and i can see a lot more limits that i can see here in for our org so that's why i made a video thought of sharing with sharing it with you guys so if you, if you find helpful do like subscribe comment and let's keep sharing okay and also i got this link i will put this link in the description you can refer um for your needs that's how like this is just a documentation of how you can do like whatever i have showed you in this video so that's all see you in the next video bye bye